Previously, we looked at the metering technologies that were part of and partly responsible for the creation of the modern utility grid. In the years that followed, the technology continued to evolve. Meters became smaller and lighter, the load range was extended, friction minimized, and long-term stability was improved. By the turn of the 20th century, three-phase induction meters were developed using two or three measurement systems arranged on one, two, or three discs. Induction meters, also known as Ferraris meters and based on the principles of the Blathy meter, are still manufactured in large quantities and are the workhorses of metering, thanks to their low price and excellent reliability. The last years of the 19th century saw the development of the multi-tariff meter with local or remotely controlled switches, the maximum demand meter, the prepayment meter, and the Landerson gear maxigraph. The first ripple control system was patented in 1899 by César René Lubéry of France and was perfected by Compagnie de Comptures, later Schlumberger, as well as Siemens, AEG, Landerson gear, Selberg and Sauter, and Brown Bavari, just to name a few. In 1934, Landerson gear developed the trivector meter, measuring active and reactive energy and apparent demand. The great period of initial development of meters was over. As Otto Blathy, who you may remember as one of the original inventors of the transformer, put it, now you walk for entire days without even finding a bush. The idea of remote metering was born in the 1960s. Initially, remote pulse transmission was used, but this has gradually been replaced by using various communication protocols and media. Electronic technologies didn't find their way to metering until the first analog and digital integrated circuits became available in the 1970s, encouraged by the availability of cost-effective integrated circuit boards. The new technology generated new impetus in the development of electricity meters. Initially, high-precision static meters were developed, mainly using the time division multiplication principle. Hall cells were also used, primarily for commercial and residential meters. Hybrid meters, consisting of induction meters and electronic tariff units, were constructed in the 1980s. This technology had a relatively short run. Today, meters with complex functionality are based on the latest electronic technology, using digital signal processing, with most functions being implemented in firmware. Improved cooperation between manufacturers and utilities was achieved relatively early. The first metering standard, the C12 code for electricity metering, was developed as early as 1910. Its preface says, While the code is naturally based upon scientific and technical principles, the commercial side of metering has been constantly kept in mind as of very great importance. Focusing on the business aspects of metering and building on the latest technologies has continued to drive the metering industry forward. Join us next time as we explore the world of metering, the global rollouts and regional differences that all translate into a world powered by the latest technology. See you then.